I don't think anyone really enjoys ballasting, but it's one thing that really elevates a train set into a model railway. And I want to share three secrets that will quickly create great ballasting effects right from the start. The first of these is the simplest, but will have the greatest impact on getting instantaneous results. Once we've got our track geometry sorted, it's tempting to go straight on and attach it to the bare baseboard, pinning it to your plywood, or in my case, black foam board. But a quick coat of textured spray paint will give you an immediate head start in your ballasting, with a gravelly undercoat to your track bed. And with the edges of mine roughly masked, I've taken my baseboard section out into the fresh air for spraying. And with my black surface, I only need a thin coat to get a really dramatic effect. With MDF or plywood, you're going to need to build up a few more coats to get good opacity, but generally, the patchier the better. Even if that's the only tip you implement after watching, hit the like and subscribe buttons for lots more modelling projects. And keep watching for secret number two. The first was something of a no-brainer. The next one very much depends on how you prefer to lay your track. But gluing and ballasting as you go is a great way to get quick results. Of course, there's not much room for manoeuvre, so we need to spend some time marking up where the track is going to go, assisted by my level crossing and the baseboard track aligners, which have already been stuck down. Now my thinking goes something like this. We are eventually going to have a gluey bed for our ballast, so why not kill two birds with one stone and do it all together? And it's a lot easier spreading the glue with the track out of the way, rather than fiddling around the sleepers when it's already laid. My evenly spread PVA glue will take a while to dry, so I've got time to make sure my track is in exactly the right place, before going on to sprinkle the ballast. The temptation here is to dump a whole load all over the track. After all, we'll be shaking off the spare later. But there are two good reasons not to. Obviously, the less we have to collect up, the better. But also, even though the glue is underneath the track, it has a tendency to rise up through the granules, and you may find it sticking more than you expected. It also means my little tins full of nails for extra weight will sit nicely on the rails, holding the track down while the glue dries. And then on to the next section, which you can do in exactly the same way. But first, make sure there's no loose ballast that will get stuck underneath the track. And then squeeze on some more glue, which is white at the moment, but it will dry clear, so won't be visible, even if the ballast doesn't completely cover the area. And with our textured paint, none of the baseboard will show through. Then we can place our next bit of track and ballast in exactly the same way. And it's not long until my entire circuit is all laid and ballasted. It's not finished by any means, but I think the best thing about this method is the psychological lift it gives, knowing that we've more than scratched the surface of the job. Which brings me to secret number three, which is less of a technique, more a frame of mind and a way of working. And you'll notice that my scenics have moved on considerably since the last section. Having essentially nailed our basic ballast, we haven't had that hanging over us. And rather than lots of exposed baseboard between our tracks, we've had a good enough ballasting effect, which we can now add to and perfect a small bit at a time. Painting on a dilute PVA solution to any areas we think need a little bit more or a little bit greater variety of ballast. And I've got a mix of products from different manufacturers, which I can adjust and sprinkle in a more considered manner to give a range of effects depending on the context. And not forgetting the areas slightly further away from the tracks themselves, I can add some scrubby bushes and scattered piles of ballast applied to undiluted PVA for a bit of height. So the combo of my three secrets, the textured spray, which is now almost entirely covered, the overall effect of the track laying ballast, and the gradual build up of the finer details, has given me great results, without the process ever feeling like a chore. 